Hi, Kit and Olivia here. We're going to show you a fascial release for the thoracic area here, but we want to give you a little bit of the backstory first. When Olivia and I were on a workshop some years ago, and the, we were teaching a performance workshop, we were working on the pike, which is that full forward bend over straight legs. And Olivia was at about 45 degrees, her spine was about 45 degrees to her legs in her best position. And she said, I feel the effect of this in my hamstrings. Now, I don't exactly remember. Do you remember how it came about that we decided to do the fascia release? Anyway, I suppose that doesn't no. matter, but we, we did this fascia release. It was an intuition, let's call it. Mm. And it immediately changed her pike. She was able to put her face on her shins and all the sensation in her calf muscles and hamstrings disappeared. And instead, she mm. just felt a stretch in the whole of the posterior surface of the body. So. We, we know how the superficial fascia layer interacts with the brain in terms of mapping range of movement and all those kinds of things. What we found is that if there's any restriction in the movement itself of the fascia in any position that you're trying to stretch in, if that fascia sliding is locked in any way, you will experience some restriction somewhere else in the body. Usually it's not in the area where the fascia is, is blocked, we found. What we want to show you now is a manual technique which we have used on many workshops with a fantastic degree of success that will help you do anything that stretches the dorsal side of the body. So let me show you what it looks like now. And we have some nice close-up cameras too which should show us exactly what we're talking about. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is show you that when I try to move her skin over the muscles underneath, can you see it's stuck? Actually, it's not anywhere near as stuck on this side, and it's stuck on this side. I don't know whether you can see that clearly, but I can tell you the resistance to moving this is strong. There is no resistance to moving the skin here. And so what we do, you can do the whole back or you can do the tight parts. What I'm going to do is use the heel of my palm like this, hold her with the other hand so I don't rock her around too much, and then watch, I literally grasp the skin and the superficial fascia layer that's underneath that and move it sideways as far as I can. It'll come to a, a, a very strong stop there. Move, 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 move. So that's doing, well, you can already see, the skin and the fascia now is moving much, much easier. I can move it, in fact, with just two fingers now. Then I would always do this direction as well to make sure that the fascia can slide in this direction. So I'll just show you. This also generates a lot of heat and we don't know that that, it, that might also be part of the process. Mm -hmm. But, and there's a, there is a definite blocked spot here. And I'm pretty much putting all my strength into this. And the brass strap is no impediment whatsoever. You just work on the top of that. So, and we're, we're just trying to show you the, the physical details. But the fact is, when I first did this release on Olivia, it was through two layers of clothing. And it works perfectly well through clothing. Now see how that feels. Oh, you can also see, perhaps we might be able to see that on this camera, where I was working has just suddenly gone red. There are red patches, even though I worked on all of these bits, this patch here where it was the most stuck is red, and that, to us and from our massage therapy th therapist friends, they tell us this is blood slamming into the area that hasn't been in for a while, and while I'm watching here, that is already fading away. And look at that beautiful, beautiful pike. And I can tell you, it, well, it looks effortless, so I'd have to ask you now, how does that feel compared to before? Uh, much more comfortable. Yep. There's still a little bit of work needed right up there. Okay. Shoulder bit. Oh yes, I can feel that. It was right underneath that strap too. Yep. Ooh, that's tight. There's the muscle underneath this is also tight. <laughs> See what that feels like now. Yeah, much better. Much better. So look, it's a very simple technique, um, and I, I know that when we've shown this in workshops before, I'm sure that some people think that we're just making this stuff up or faking it, but it's a bit like the 
um, the release for gracilis on the inside of the leg. It doesn't take any great science or any great feel. You just have to move all the skin and the tissues underneath the skin over the muscles any way you can. Awesome. Excellent.